I've been testing Napkin AI for weeks, and honestly, this might be the visual tool I've been waiting for. Everyone's talking about how it transforms text into visuals instantly, but is it actually worth the hype? Let's be real. Most of us are terrible at creating diagrams. You know that feeling when you're staring at PowerPoint trying to make a decent infographic, and it looks like a kindergarten art project? That's exactly what Napkin AI solves. Here's what makes it different. You literally paste your text, click a button, boom, professional looking visuals, no prompting required, no design skills needed. I tested this with everything from meeting notes to project workflows and it genuinely works. The tool generates infographics, flowcharts, and diagrams based on whatever text you feed it. What surprised me most was how contextually aware it is. When I pasted a paragraph about marketing funnels, it actually understood the concept and created a proper funnel diagram. The visuals aren't static images you're stuck with. Everything is fully editable. You can swap icons, adjust colors, change fonts, and style everything to match your brand. Now here's the catch nobody talks about. While the initial generation is impressive, you'll still need some tweaking to get it exactly right. The AI gets you maybe 80% of the way there. Let's talk pricing. The free plan gives you 500 AI credits per week, which is roughly 500 words of text you can turn into visuals. Plus is $9 per month for 10,000 credits, and Pro is $22 monthly for 30,000 credits with custom styles. Most users are raving about how it's transformed their presentation game. The biggest complaint is that complex diagrams still need manual adjustment. Here's what nobody tells you. The real power isn't the AI generation itself, it's how fast you can iterate. I can test five different visual approaches in the time it takes to set up one PowerPoint slide. Bottom line, if you need to communicate complex ideas visually but don't have design chops, Napkin AI is absolutely worth trying. For everyday business communication, it's a game changer. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.